Hello guys, so today I will show you how to use and adapt the uh, 3D waste horror game for Effect House. So of course here it's like a, a car racing vaporwave game but you can change it uh, with the color and the model and the world that um, you need. So here I've set a 10 seconds game so you can see it quickly. You can catch elements by moving your head left or right. Oop, and you have an animation if you miss it and if you have an animation if you catch it and that's the outro uh, panel so to do that um, of course uh, as usual you have to prepare your assets and by assets here it's like a mix of uh, um, 3d elements and images so for the images first you will have to replace the world uh, the size of the world and the world decoration that is the palm here um, and for that you can you have to find the right uh, material for that and you can see it's the project is organized in three three sections as, usu as usual the intro the game and the outro the intro is basically just the the message at the beginning with the instruction um, we can see it here because it's auto starting if i put back the screen tab so that is the intro uh, image we can replace it of course with the title of the game the instruction whatever um, then it's the game so the intro will disappear and the game just uh, continue to be displayed until the end and at the end the outro will be displayed that's the uh, outro image with the score um, and you will have to replace uh, the world uh, the car etc but first of all for the images that you will need to replace it's like the world and the palm so you can find the world in uh, the zone in the world and then zone but we need the first zone here a fixed one uh, anyways i will skip that details but you can find uh, deco left deco right that's the palm so you can see a neat deco right and a neat deco left as material name so just find it on the material uh, section here and change the image you need deco left click here and then you un under tex texture you can see palm here and you can just import your image in the assets panel so drag and drop it here and and we, you will find it in the list and then you can just replace it uh, I, I i always use some square format images it's uh, way faster and easier to use in effect house so you don't have to rescale it uh, but you can put some rectangle image if you want um, uh, yes, one, one thing to know if you import your image and I don't know, create a new material and it's not, uh, you don't have any transparency, it's because uh, in the material you have to click render state. In, in blend mode, you have to choose either alpha test or transparent. That's the trick. Uh, but it's already done on the template, so no worries. Um, same for the word, so just click the word, you can see PBR word material, so just find it, PBR word, click text, texture and you can replace the word. It's also a square image format. Same for the sides, you can see PBR word. Right. Um, once all the images are replaced, you can um, replace the 3D models and in the 3D models we have first of all the car. So you can find um, another player to replace the car. So you can go to Sketchfab uh, and find whatever you want. So if you want a biker, uh, you, you can put uh, that one by example. Just be sure to be it's done, downloadable and also low poly is always better. If it's not low poly, you can always compress it on Blender or other software. Otherwise, um, it will go above the effect house effect limits that is 4 megabytes so once you have your player you can replace it by drag and drop in the assets normally we, you will have it in glb format so drag and drop in the assets and then in the game section player you can drag and drop your player here you will probably have to resize it so click on your model 
And here at the top, you can see move, don't touch that, but rotate and scale, you will probably have to uh, rotate and scale. For example, here, if I scale the car, you can see, you can adapt it. I could also move it up and down, but yeah, I don't know. Just do your, your test and adapt your player. You also need to replace the objects that are coming. And for that, drag and drop objects in the object 1, object 2, object 3, object 4, and object 5 objects. <laughs> so just drag and drop your object here. Uh, you can see here it's some cubes, but you can just replace the cubes with uh, whatever you want. Um, same, you can download anything or just create some, some simple object. Keep it simple, not too complex because the, the, the game is already quite heavy. Uh, so once it's done, I think it's basically it. Um, ah yes, you can change the chrono. Uh, so in the variable here, so click here, you can scroll and find change chrono. And here it's 10 seconds, you can put 5, 20, whatever. Uh, and then at the end of the chrono, the outro panel will appear. So if I put five, for example, and I start the game, you can see three, two, one, and if after at zero, it's the outro panel with your score. You can also change uh, if the elements that are coming are rotating or not. You can just disable, disable it here, so you can see cubes. Uh, at the moment are rotating you can see but if you uncheck that it's static so it depends of, of the object you want to put you can see it's static so that's an option you can enable or disable here and also um, just before publishing uh, don't forget to uh, change the screen tap cables here by the video record and while while you are creating on effect house um, keep the screen tab so you can see the intro panel but just before publishing replace it by the video record because effect house desktop will auto play and because it emits the fact that we are recording so yep i think you have everything don't hesitate to put on the comments what you have done with the template and please let, let me know if you have another game id or if you want i do some template for you uh, i will do it bye bye